summer, we are going to be learning stories from the Bible about people who were together. This story is about a man named David. We remember David for many things. David was a shepherd. He took care of the sheep in the field. David liked music. He played the harp and he sang songs and he even danced. Many of the songs in our Bible were written by David. David was brave and he fought a giant named Goliath with only a slingshot and stones. And he won too. When David was very young, the prophet Samuel came to his house and told him that God had chosen him to be the next king. And Samuel was right. But another important thing about David was that he had a best friend named Jonathan. Jonathan was the son of Saul. Saul was the king before David would be the king. Now King Saul was jealous of David, but Prince Jonathan and David loved each other very much. Once David came to Jonathan and asked for his help. David needed to know if he was safe from King Saul. And so Jonathan went to his father to see if David would be safe. And he found out the answer. David was not safe from Saul. Now they knew that the safest thing for David to do was to run and hide until it was time for him to be king. This was so hard because they knew that they would not be together anymore. They had to say goodbye. But David and Jonathan knew that good friends love each other even when it isn't easy and they promised to always care for each other. Now I wonder who has been a good friend to you? And I wonder who you have been a good friend to? This week, my challenge for you is to make two friendship bracelets. If you have a worship bag, you'll find what you need inside. And if you don't, you can find things around your house to make your own friendship bracelets. The ones that I made each have a heart on it to remind me to love other people and to love my friends. Give one of those friendship bracelets to somebody who is a good friend to you, or you might give one to somebody who needs a good friend.